One of the intellectual tasks is machine design. A super intelligent machine may develop into a better machine. There would undoubtedly be an intelligence explosion, lagging far behind human intelligence. But what is super intelligent AI? Well, there's only one way to find out. Watch this video to find out about what super intelligent AI is all about. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Hello and welcome back to this channel, everyone. If this is your first time visiting, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Before we get started, make sure to press that notification bell to ensure that you receive all of our channel updates well on time. That being said, let's begin. The first ultra-intelligent machine is the final invention that man will ever need, as long as the machine is docile enough to tell humans how to operate it. This was a statement from the work of I.J. Good, a British mathematician who in 1965 coined the term intellectual explosion, or technical singularity, which foreshadows the ultimate arrival of superhuman intelligence. According to the most popular version of the singularity hypothesis called intelligence explosion, an upgradable intelligent agent will eventually enter a runaway reaction of a self-improvement cycle. Each new and more intelligent generation appears more and more rapidly, causing an explosion in intelligence and resulting in a powerful superintelligence that qualitatively far surpasses all human intelligence superintelligence, which is one big existential risk. Although it is likely the largest, it is unusual in one aspect, in that it is a significant threat in its own right. On the other hand, it could also aid in eliminating other existential threats. We don't know which order synthetic biology, nanotechnology, and AI will arrive in. If we picture a very simplistic model, perhaps they're all facing existential threats. Let's say we create synthetic biology first, and we are fortunate enough to avoid the existential threats. However, we eventually reach molecular nanotechnology, which we are fortunate to have made it through, and then AI in another tractor. Maybe we'll get AI first, and then we'll have to deal with the existential threat. With that, the existential hazards along that path combine these three distinct ones, each of which must overcome the first application of the notion of singularity. In its modern sense, occurs at least as early as 1983. The coming technological singularity essay by Werner Vince refers to the hypothetical future developments of advanced machines, in which he wrote that the singularity would signal the end of the human era, as the superintelligence could continue to upgrade itself and would advance technology at an incomprehensible rate. Four polls of AI researchers conducted in 2012 and 2013 by Nick Bostrom and Vincent C. Muller suggested a probability estimate of 50% that Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI, would be developed by 2040 to 2050. So ultimately, intelligent machines will surpass us, assuming we haven't succumbed to existential catastrophe. So there's the question of how far we progressed from human intelligence to machine intelligence. The quick answer, I believe, is that no one knows. A survey of major AI professionals was conducted, and one of the questions asked was, by what year do you think there's a 50% likelihood that we'll have human-level machine intelligence? The median response was 2050 or 2014, depending on which set of experts we questioned. It was also asked, by what year do you think there is a 90% chance? And it came up with 2070 or 2075. It was also asked, how long do you believe it will take to get to radical superintelligence once we achieve human-level machine intelligence? I believe there is a good chance that even when we reach a human-like level of intelligence, we will soon have superintelligence. It is believed that there will be an intelligence explosion and radical superintelligence at some point in the future. Most hypothesized strategies for generating superhuman or transhuman minds fit into one of two categories, intelligence application of human brains and artificial intelligence. The specified ways to produce intelligence augmentation on many and include bioengineering, genetic engineering, AI assistance, direct brain computer interfaces and mind uploading. Because multiple parts to an intelligent explosion are being explored, a singularity is more likely to occur, as the alternative, where singularity does not happen, would mean that all these parts have failed. There is some uniqueness, proponents argue for its inevitability, by explorating past trends, particularly those relating to shrinking gaps between technological advancements. Singularity was used for the first time in one of the first uses of the term, in the context of technological progress. The technological singularity is the name given to this strategy since there will be no smooth or steady technical advancements in this hypothetical future. Instead, everything will change at a breakneck pace. One school of researchers consists primarily of AI practitioners. Ray Kurzweil argues that the singularity will only happen if artificial intelligence has reached a human level of intelligence, or universal intelligence, rather than narrow intelligence. 
Another school of thought, however, argues that advanced AI is not necessarily required to have human-level intelligence and that it can be any step behind humans on the ladder of intelligence. In this view, AI does not even have to have an artificial consciousness for an AI takeover to lead to a true singularity. Moreover, this view allows for non-sentient machines to be developed that will nevertheless radically change society. So, superintelligence. I think it will be a big game. A change here. The biggest thing that will ever have happened in human history. At some point, this transition to superintelligence has two possible pathways. In principle, one could imagine that could lead there could enhance biological intelligence. We know biological intelligence has increased radically in the past, making the human species our machine intelligence, which is still far below biological intelligence. So far, we're focused on any form of general purpose smartness and learning ability, but increasing at a more rapid clip. So, for example, you could envisage advancements in our ability to pool our individual information processing devices to improve our collective reasoning and wisdom, or manipulations on particular individual brains to boost biological cognition. They're like cyborg approaches, which are hybrid approaches that combine biology and machines. For example, Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk have expressed fear that full artificial intelligence or powerful AI could lead to human extinction. However, the implications of the singularity and its potential benefit or harm to humanity have been hotly discussed. According to philosopher Nick Bostrom, an existential danger is one in which extinction is just not possible but also likely. He claims that enhanced artificial intelligence poses an existential threat. Furthermore, the time span is important because a superintelligence may decide to move rapidly before humans can react. Finally, in the absence of any countermeasures, a superintelligence may decide to annihilate mankind entirely for unknown reasons. There's also a chance that superintelligence will try to colonize the universe. For example, a superintelligence might increase the amount of computation it can perform or collect raw materials to manufacture additional supercomputers. Humans may never fully comprehend an artificial superintelligence, according to Nick Bostrom, because an AESI's intelligence is likely to be far greater than that of the smartest humans. In his book, Superintelligence, it is likely to be extremely challenging for humans to observe or understand its mental process fully. A superintelligent agent with a humane goal system, according to Ostrom, would not necessarily behave benevolently towards humans. While it may appear alarmist to be concerned about these scenarios in the current world, where only narrow AI exists, we have no idea how long it will take or even if it will be able to construct a safe artificial superintelligence that shares our goals. As a result, we should begin planning for the arrival of AI as soon as possible. Artificial intelligence has received a lot of popularity and demand over the last few years. Even Elon Musk has given AI a lot of attention and importance. If we could bring in the most powerful artificial intelligence technologies into our lives, then the future generation will have a different look of its own. Anyway, what are your thoughts on superintelligent AI? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you like science, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. With that being said, see you in the next one. Until then, peace.